Here, I've done the first one for you. This is an example. So this is saying that x, and use the variable x. Uh, we could use anything we want, really any variable x, y, a, b, but it, I'm just, for the sake of keeping it simple, we'll just use x. So here, x is greater than or equal to negative 1. So it's any value that's negative 1 or greater. So uh, try these four on your own, and then come back, and then I'll give you the answers. Okay, here we go. And the only trick one here was the one on the bottom. Uh, these are two arrows on either side. So really this is saying that x is equal to all real numbers that exist. So there are no limitations. It could barely be any number because this goes on this way to the left forever and this arrow goes on to the right forever. Now, we just discussed number lines, but really... When we look at number lines, and we think about graphs, all a graph is, is two number lines, whoops, is two number lines put together. So we're going to take what we've just done, and we're going to apply it to graphs, because really there is no difference. A graph is two number lines, where we call the horizontal number line the x-axis, and we call the vertical number line, the y-axis. And another way of saying that is the horizontal line is the domain, whereas the vertical line is the range. All right. So uh, let's try these examples here. And actually, before maybe before we're going to do that, let's do uh, let's do a quick example on this graph because it's a little bit simpler. So, if I were to say that I have a line like this, oops, let's say that I have a line like this. Okay, I want to know what the domain is for this line, or we, we could call that a function, and I want to know what the range is. Well, if we look here, when I talk about domain, we're going to be talking about this horizontal axis here. So, let's pretend that this vertical axis doesn't exist for a moment. Just looking at this axis here, uh, what numbers or what values are included by this line? Well we can say that we start at 1. So the domain is equal to 1 or greater than 1. There are no numbers smaller than 1. So the domain is, and we'll call the domain x, the x is represented like so. So the x is greater than or equal to 1. So x is any number greater or equal to 1. And that's the domain. Now let's look at the range. So now we're going to be looking at the vertical axis. We're going to call this the y. And we're going to ignore this horizontal axis. So uh, using the same line, we looked that we have, and I've drawn this improperly, so we'll just, we'll just roll with this. So we have about, we'll call this 0 0.5. So on the range, this line represents any number greater than or equal to 0 0.5 and it represents nothing below 0 0.5. So, uh, 0 0.5 is less than or equal to y. Uh, another way of saying that is y is greater than or equal to 0 0.5. So the range includes any number greater than 0 0.5 and including 0 0.5. Okay, let's try this with a slightly more difficult graph. So here they're asking us to determine the domain and range of the graph of each function. Well, let's start with the graph on the right. So here we have a point. So this is where the line ends. And here we have a line that goes off the graph. When we see a line going off the graph like that, we can assume that this is an arrow here. So we can assume that this line goes on forever. So they're asking us for the domain and the range. So. When looking at the domain, remember the domain is represented by the vertical axis. So let's start with that. Let's start with the domain. Uh, looking here, we can see that the line starts 
at x is equal to 3. So we know that this function, or the domain of this function, is going to be is going to be all values less than or equal to 3. Because if this line goes on forever, even though this is what we call a parabola, uh, this is going to go on forever and ever and ever and ever, which means that it's continually going to the left, to the left, to the left. And will cover every number less than or equal to 3. So the domain is, and remember the domain is represented by x, x is less than or equal to 3. Now let's look at the range. Now the range is going to be the vertical axis here. So we're going to ignore this horizontal axis. Let's look just at the range. Now knowing that the line starts here, uh, this line starts at 8. So we don't seem to have any values greater than 8. However, when we follow this parabola all the way to the other side, this line will continue forever. So therefore we do have an infinite number of values greater than these values here. But we do have a limit. There is a lower limit to our range, and that limit is right here. Our graph doesn't go any lower than this, and this is what we call negative 1. So the range, therefore, is any number that's greater or equal to negative 1, because this line will go on forever, which means that it will go on for infinity. So we call range, the y is going to be greater than or equal to negative 1. And that's our domain, and that's our range. Now this one here, uh, this one doesn't have any arrows, so this is a interval of values here. So let's look at our domain and let's look at our range. The domain is the vertical is the horizontal axis, sorry, along here. So looking at x, well, x is between negative 2 and 2. All the values associated with this function along the domain are between negative 2 and 2. So we're going to say that x is greater than or equal to negative 2. However, it is less than or equal to 2. That, that's essentially saying x is, or the domain is, all the numbers between negative 2 and 2. Uh, the range, so now we're looking at the vertical axis. So here we have a function that doesn't go any lower than 0, so it stops at 0, and doesn't go any higher than 2. So we have y is greater than or equal to 0, but less than or equal to 2. And that's it. So try this on your own. Here, so pause the video here, give these two a try, and then come back and we'll go through the answers. Okay. There we are. So here they list uh, the domain first with the x and then the range with the y. So here is domain and then the range. All right, this is our final example. Uh, so here's a graph of the function f of x is equal to negative 3x plus 7. And here we see the line right here. So we're going to use the graph to determine the range value when the domain value is 2. And what that means essentially is the domain value is the x. So they're saying what is f of x or what is y when x is equal to negative 2? Well, uh, our x is along the horizontal axis, so let's look at 2. Well. When x is 2, we hit a point right here on the graph, and we can follow that to the y-axis. And when x is 2, y is approximately, here we're jumping by 2, so this would be 1. So therefore, the range when the domain is negative 2 would be 1. And we can actually check that. We can check that by solving the equation. We have f of x is equal to negative 3x plus 7. Oops. And I'm going to plug in the negative 2 for the x. So here we go. 
Uh, here they're saying that the domain value is negative 2, so they're saying that x is negative 2, so I'm just going to go f of x is equal to negative 3, and I'm going to plug in negative 2, plus 7. And if you remember, the proper notation here would be to say f of negative 2, because what we're saying is what is the value of the range when the domain is equal to negative 2. So here I just solve it. Uh, negative 3 times negative 2 is positive Oops, positive 6 plus 7. And so f of negative 2 is equal to Okay, so here they're asking us to determine the range and domain of a graph. So this graph represents the function f of x is equal to negative 3x plus 7. Well, determine the range value. So they're saying determine the value along the y-axis, because the y-axis represents the range, when the domain value is negative 2. So looking at this graph, let's say when the domain value is negative 2, and let's follow this up here, all the way up to here. So this is the point on the line when the domain is negative 2. Well, what they're asking us for is the range. So let's see, what point on the y-axis does this point represent? Well, if we look here, this is 12, this is 14, so this will be 13. So when the domain is negative 2, the range is 13. So the range is equal to 13. And another way of saying the domain value is negative 2 is by saying x is equal to negative 2, because that's essentially uh, what they're saying. So when x is equal to negative 2, what is the y? And we can figure that out by looking at the graph, but we can also double check our answer by plugging it into the equation. So if I have f of x is equal to negative 3 plus 7, all I have to do is plug in negative 2 for x and then see what I get. So f of negative 2, so in other words, the y value when x is negative 2 will be negative 3 times negative 2 plus 7, which equals negative 3 times negative 2, that's 6 plus 7. So the range is... 13. So B, determine the domain value when the range value is 4. All right, so this is the same type of question, but we're going the other way around. So now we're starting with the range value, and they're asking us for the domain. So essentially, we're starting with the y. The y is equal to 4. When y is equal to 4, what is x? And remember, f of x is equal to y y means f of x, so what they're saying is f of x is equal to 4. Well, let's check that out. So y when y is 4, right there, when we draw a line to the line right there. Well, what is the domain when the range is 4? Well, we just draw a line and we figure out that that is 1. So when the range is 4, the domain or the x value is 1. And again, we can double check that. We just plug it into our equation. So fx is equal to uh, negative 3x plus 7. And then I substitute f of x for 4. So 4 is equal to negative 3x plus 7. And then I isolate the x. So here I have 4 minus 7. So that's going to give me negative 3 is equal to negative 3x. I divide both sides by negative 3. And I get 1 is equal to x, which is what I got here. And so that's correct. All right, try this exact same thing on your own. Pause the video here, and when you come back, I'll go through the answers. All right, here you go. And that is it.